By adopting the law on transparency of foreign influence, which seriously complicates the work of non-governmental organizations, the Georgian authorities have made a sharp U-turn towards Moscow. The country's leadership only begun to tighten the screws more. The Georgian parliament passed a law banning LGBTQ plus propaganda, limiting the rights of sexual minorities, and now the ruling Georgian Dream Party wants to declare the largest opposition force, the United National Movement, as unconstitutional. The Georgian and Dream explains that in this way they want to form a constitutional majority and supposedly restore order in the country. With the role of opposition in the country being played by a criminal group of externally controlled politicians from the national movement, the state has to constantly walk through a minefield, due to which the risk of losing the country remains ever-present. From the statement of the Georgian Dream Party on Facebook. Georgian Dream is doing all this against the backdrop of the parliamentary elections to be held on October 26. To further clear the electoral field, Germany has adopted amendments on electoral law. They set a 5% threshold for getting into the parliament. In addition, the election process is being less and less transparent due to the actions of the authorities. The adopted amendments reduce the presence of the opposition in the election commission. And after the adoption of the law on foreign agents, some public opinion research centers left the country. Also, according to experts, the Georgian authorities hope to win by playing on the division of the opposition. They know that the opposition is not united. They know that the opposition position is weaker because of the lack of unification. Therefore, they allow themselves to behave like this. They continue the repressive measures, continue promising that after the elections all independent media will be destroyed, as well as the opposition and so on, they directly say in their speeches. The policy of the Georgian authorities is increasingly distancing the country from Europe. In June, Brussels said that Tbilisi's actions were contrary to EU values and that the country's European integration was suspended. They also added that they have frozen 30 million euros of aid to Georgia stored in the European Peace Fund. Brussels later said it was considering a complete halt to financial aid to the country's government. Analysts believe that Georgian ruling party is pushing the country into the orbit of more Moscow's and Beijing's allies, which could lead to an international isolation. They are ready for sanctions to be imposed against them. They are ready for further deterioration, marginalization in the international arena and so on. Georgian volunteers who are part of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region are fighting for Georgian democracy now. If they manage to win there, everything will be fine in Georgia and everything will be fine in Armenia and in many other countries. In the meantime, Georgian authorities are prosecuting volunteers who fight on the side of Ukraine. In July, Georgians who went to fight against the Russian army were summoned to court in the case of planning a coup d'etat. Mamuka Mamulashvili, commander of the Georgian Legion, said that this was the way the authorities were helping the Kremlin to catch volunteers who had criminal cases opened against them in Russia for taking part in the war on the side of Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.